Hey guys, welcome to another video. I've seen y'all guys' support. The video reached 4k views and the other video reached 1k views. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for everything. The Discord server has absolutely blown up since then. And I just want to thank you guys. This video is going to be on how to get studio quality on your microphone. It doesn't matter which microphone you have, you can always improve what you have. So let's get straight into the video. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I have been sick for a couple of days. So I've been delaying the recent uploads, but we're going to start trying uploading more. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to make your way to Google, Opera, Microsoft Edge, whatever. Search up Voice Meter Banana. Click this link. Not this one. This one. Once you're here, it should bring you up here. Do not use Voice Meter or the Potato version or the V-Band. I don't, I don't use them. Just download Banana. Once you download Banana, this should pop up. And to set up this is really easy, okay? So where it says hardware input, you're going to put your microphone. So let me unlock this real quick. So right here, make sure you select the WDM and then the microphone you have, not the MME version. Same thing for headphones, WDM and your headphones. Once you do that, what you want to do is you want to make your way to menu settings. Let me find that real quick. System settings right here. 480, 480, 480, 480. It is not set like this. You should put it like this. Okay. After you do that. What you want to do is you want to make your way to the right hand side of your screen, right click the sound thing, click sound settings, scroll all the way down, click more sound settings. In here, what you want to do, you want to scroll all the way down, make sure your voice meter input, not the aux, voice meter input is set as default. This way, whenever you're in games, Discord, or wherever you're talking through, um, you just got to set it as default and it automatically puts it as voice meter input. So set it as default device. Same thing for recording. Go to recording, scroll all the way down. Voice meter output, not aux, just output. Set as default. Then here, right click properties, advanced, and put it to this format. By default, it's two channel, 24 bit, 44,100 hertz. Uh, when you have it like this, it starts like, you sound like a robot when you have it like this. So put it to this one, 48,000 hertz. After you do that, click apply, click okay. You could close this out. I think you're good. Just in case you should uh, right click here, properties, make sure your voice and your inputs is also at 48,000. Then click apply, click okay, click okay, and you're all done. Then what you want to do is in here, you want to move this right here. Once you move this, I'm going to sound a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys in a second. So as I'm talking, you see that I sound a little bit weird. It depends all on the type of voice you have, where you should have it. So just be mindful of like where you should have it. My recommendation is you keep it closer to the X and Y axis. So when you turn this on, you should be able to hear how you sound. Uh, then when you click this is when you move this around and see how you sound when you're talking. So be mindful of that. After you're done with that, make sure you turn this one and this one off. This, when you have this on, it makes it so that anything you are listening to in your headphones is played through your microphone. So whether that be music, gameplay, or whatever you're doing, if you have this on, everyone in a call can hear what you're doing. Uh, just leave these both off. Do not pass the angle. This little angle thing, do not pass that. Unless you want to sound like a Dehudian with their bass boosted mic and they think their voice is deep. So do not do that. My recommendation is that you have the thing right here. No matter what type of voice you have, if you have it here, it should sound all right. Um, but for me, I usually have mine a little bit down here. Noise gate right here. This is how fast it cuts off this, like, once you're done talking. Have it at 3.5 to 2.5 around that. Anything higher, it will, like, cut out too fast, and you probably won't, like, finish what you're saying. And then anything lower will, like, instantly pick up everything. So be mindful of that. Then here, how you have this. This is a limit. So I don't want to, whenever I'm, because I be screaming at the game. Whenever I'm screaming, I don't get too loud because I have a limit. Uh, so it doesn't touch the red bar. It's just click and drag. Oh. Click and drag. You see? Put in a negative two. Now, A1 right here. This is where you can listen to how you sound. And that should be it. That's literally it, guys. Also, go to menu, and you can lock the graphic interface. So, you don't have, like, whenever you have your good settings, uh, there's no way this could be changeable. So, you don't fuck it up. Like I said, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate y'all. Like I said, I'm sick, but I'll try and post more. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.